almost said that in the, like song form. Welcome back. Welcome back. Taking a brief step away from the sniper while we wait on parts. Nobody freak out. I know how you guys are all. Don't get sidetracked. Speaking of getting sidetracked, allow me to present to you a common FJ40 heater system. Now I know. All under the dash or some of that in the. This is under the dash, and this is up against the firewall where my new ARB air compressor is going to be. Let me show you the vintage air heater that I started on a long time ago. All of that is put into this. And when you take these stickers away, this little thing looks amazing. We're going to install the rest of this heater day today and get it done. A couple things I want to bring up before we go to the initial installation. I read the instructions. Initially I had, and I was kind of freaking out and texting people about how to install this. Instructions are all really clear. Just remember you guys, like a, a good book or a prostitute, open it up and get inside what? and see what's, you know, what's, what it's all about. Gross. It's a metaphor, honey. Sure. These are rubber coolant hoses that I cut and fit over the stock sizes. Now as cool as the vintage air heater is, it comes with this little and it just wasn't gonna connect to my heater vents without some modification. But I realized these came from, I believe a 78, I'm not sure what year. These were from Brandon's Cruiser. These fit really good in the vents, you know, for defrosting. And I just had to modify these guys to fit on these tubes. Hence, me cutting the, uh, I don't know what you're doing. Coolant hose. So I had an extra coolant hose. So for those of you considering this installation, you might want to think about just slicing off a couple slabs of coolant hose, slipping it over these little spots right here. And that'll have a nice setup for you. Now this used to have all the little knobs in it for the heater. It also had some fancy little stickers on the uh, front. I removed the heater knobs off of my dash. I took those stickers and I reapplied them right here. Check it out. And what I intend to do is install the switches right where my old heater switches were so it all just meshes together. So you just took the lifty bit off the center? Synergy. I took the sticker off and I pulled the switches out, out of this plastic thing. Otherwise I'd have to mount it like that and that looks like garbage. Yeah. That's garbage. So those are the couple things to remember when you're getting ready to do the installation. All right, let's mount this bad boy. Again, like a prostitute. <laughs> so the first thing I think I'm gonna wanna do is connect the switches to the heater. <sighs> there needs to be an order to this. I'm not sure what the order is. I knew there was gonna be some excess length to the heater wires. So I folded them over a couple times and I zip tied them. You know how I like zip tying. Mm -hmm. This guy goes to the heater switch. So I'm gonna run this through this firewall hose around her and I'm gonna forget about this guy for a minute. Why is that so difficult? Jeez. I'm gonna have to fix that firewall. So I'm gonna have to put the rubber piece back on there. If I can find it, did it fall all the way down? Maybe I'll get a new one of these, you know? Why not? New you know, rubber? Shouldn't use them twice, right? <laughs> so there are instructions on how these work. The first thing we're gonna connect, which clearly connects to each other, is this guy. <laughs> what is that guy? I don't know. Okay, the second one. Oh, okay, mode switch. I read this. This is all fan switch blower motor stuff. This guy plugs into this guy. C, mode switch. Okay, so B, no, just gotta wrap my head around what I'm looking at here. Thank you. Black's connected to the B, all right, good. Um, pink goes to the B as well. Goes to the L, which is also an H switch? What the hell? <sighs> Van switch, so B, L, H, which one of these is so this one? Okay, pink, 
pink goes on, blue goes to L, yellow goes to H. Are you sure you're looking at the right one for that and you're not accidentally looking at this thing? And blue also, I believe, goes to the B. So that's this guy right here. Pink goes to the B, apparently. Jeez, what in the hell? Oh, I didn't mean to pull that off. Okay, yellow goes to H. H and L are right effing next to each. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I need to turn this thing. Okay, now we're on, now, okay. Do you want me to look at your face? Look at my face. Turning? Make sure this little breaker switch thing is turned. Same way as the picture. So you don't have to just guess which letters go to what barb. All right, so with this turned, I will now do this quickly. Pink goes to the B on this one right here. <clears throat> okay. Yellow goes to the H, and that's this one up front right here. Boom. Gosh darn wizard. And then blue goes to the L, which is this one right here, which also kind of looks like a flipping H, but I know better now. This one is empty. This I think is a ground. They don't say, white, ground. So yeah, I'll screw that into something on, on the wall there. This switch is even easier to install. Check this guy out. Little house goes into the big house until it clicks. Okay, there's one. Super simple. <laughs> two, one, two. This one is. One, two, three, okay. So one, two, I know, is that guy. Okay, so try to gently put this knob on here. How do I know? I don't. I don't. That's the thing. I don't know. So I was just thinking like, well, what if it's just going to defrost and not the other one? Well, you're not going to need this for a long time, so you'll have time to test it. There. We're not going to be using the heater a ton is what she's saying, you guys. Leaning in like this is killing my freaking, my whole body hurts. Where's the other knob? Is that it? No, it is not. It's not like they're easy to come by. It looks like other knobs up there. Oops. That looks, that looks like some kind of bug nest. Yeah. It's, it's a spider's nest. It's like a isn't? sack. It's like an egg sack. Yeah. Right there. I have my face really close to that. So the next thing I think I should put in are the hoses so that I get them up in there. Yeah. Okay. Yes, elephant. Yes. Elephant to the Appropriate right. because. It's a long snout a... elephant. All right, um, the ground wire I'll do after. I'm gonna plug in the unit now. I'm gonna install it into the wall. I have had the most horrible time trying to install this the past couple of attempts. So we're going to have a lot of elephant noises. <laughs> a lot. A lot, lot, of, lot of elephants did, died. Did you need a towel? In the making of... No, why? <laughs> why, I look like a terrorist? <laughs> no, you're dripping sweat off your face. So I don't know how... Oh gosh, do you have all the freaking wires? You could always use like tape just to tape it out of the way while you're putting it up and then do it. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's gonna be tough, you guys. This one is not gonna be a good time. Can you drop the washer into it? Okay, I'm starting to think I probably could have waited to put the stupid dumb... Switches in? Okay, I well. No, 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 the switches needed to go first because I can't be reaching up in there with those switches. Please, I hope 
Oh, none of that shit came unplugged right there as I was wrestling with this stupid. Okay, I think what I'm gonna have to do is do the bottom ones first. The top ones are harder to get to. the wrong hole. Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, man. Please, you. Ah. You want me to do it? Ah. Son of a bitch, man. The wrong hole, Ben. Ah, how many times have we done that? You poor little stupid ass robot sitting there on your side, huh? Okay. Okay, I gotta regroup here. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna move some stuff. No, it's okay. It's okay. See, Do I, what, honey? Well, I'm, I'm small and can crouch inside of the truck and do it while you have to lean in. Okay. Okay, it fell out, so you're not attached anymore. Okay. Here I am trying to tell people how easy this installation is. No way in hell that uh, all those wires didn't just get unplugged for me wrestling with the stupid thing. I mean, you're gonna have to take it out again? I don't know. It's super simple, and it's something that uh, one person can do. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I drilled these holes extremely uh, out of just eyeballed it, kind of. I kind of jinxed myself. I shouldn't have built, I shouldn't have sucked it up so damn high up in this thing, you know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's how you want to do it, huh? There's only a couple of reasons why something doesn't just easily thread. Yeah. And it's usually because the bolt's stripped or something. Well, how's the bolt look? I don't know, because it just slipped out of my hand and fell into the fucking oblivion. The threads look good to me. I'll okay. try another one. Well, let me see, let me see the threads. I've got tiny hands. Give me a no, chance. Okay. Hold on. Just let me try another bolt. I think the rib nut is stripped out. What are you doing right now? I'm threading in from the other side to see if that's what the hell the problem is or not. It appears to thread in from this side. Every, every time it goes, it goes cross. on the other one because three out of four is pretty good. Every time it goes cross thread. Why? Why does it do that? No way in hell. The person
I just, I fucked this up myself, you know. We need to put our new nut things. So much play. This it shouldn't be such an issue. And it lines up. Fuck. It lines up perfectly on the hole, like right on it. You get it, you get it like through the hole, right? It just doesn't catch it through the hole. Nothing should be this difficult. Well, that you guys both hands. It doesn't matter. I can't reach both hands onto that spot. What in the fuck is going on here? Every fucking time, it's all stripped out. That's why it wasn't going in because it was stripped. But how in the hell was it stripped? I'm doing finger. I threaded it from the other side. I... It won't. It won't start without cross threading. How crazy is it? The two giant pain in the ass ones, the ones that I can't reach, are the ones that somehow will not thread. That's just unbelievable. How many of those freaking wires do you think have come undone from the switches, you know? From me still... Doesn't look like any of them came undone, huh? No? No. It looks like it, huh? No. I think you've got it. Sit on those. 
It's a little bit to the right. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me, let me see from that side. Where are you? Okay, this is my my thing that I did wrong. The holes are off just enough. To yeah, the holes are off. Hole. That's why it's... So you just had to do the bolts from the back side, essentially? Yeah, that's just long enough. I can't get a... So if you don't want to have to do this, just measure measure the holes. I didn't even see if the bottom two can fit. Get it for that side. Sorry. So that's just the. This is it's my fault because one I tried to. I don't know when I did the. I'm gonna have to re-drill four new holes in the firewall here to get a a better mounting position for the heater. So it's just this project wrong way. So you did good on the wiring, though. I followed the instructions, so that no. worked out. That worked out pretty good. Um, so yeah, just a cautionary tale. I'd be done with this an hour or two ago if I'd have just drilled those stupid assholes right. If I'd have just done that right, the heater, it would have been in weeks and weeks ago. I'd be done and I'd be on to something else. But this is the kind of stuff that makes it so a restoration doesn't get done in a year or six months. It gets done in three years or four years or never. Clearly I'm in a little I'm in a bad mood now because this didn't work. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna remeasure it, try to do a better job drilling the holes, and I'll drill four more holes in this part of the firewall. So that'll be cool. Is it not just secure enough with two? No. It didn't look like it was moving at all. That's because I I literally like smashed it into place, which I don't know if I. Just a cautionary tale, you guys. Without any, uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I don't know who gives a shit. <laughs> I, I unplugged the fan because I was gonna throw it across the the, uh, the yard and break it in a million pieces. Then I realized it's the only fan we have down here. So I'm getting better.